Hi Aries, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your WTF reading for the latter part of August. Um, just a quick announcement to make. Um, the website is up, it's live, it works perfectly on um, the laptops, the tablets and now the phones. It wasn't working perfectly on the phones but... Um, the guy who's building it for me has now sorted that. It is amazing. I'm so pleased with it. Pop on and have a look for me. Let me know how you feel. And these are your energy cards. Oh my goodness, there's loads. What on earth's going on around you? I don't think I've got enough room on the table for them. Number 64, Woodwives, Adaptability. Um, as a tree grows... The trunk will adapt to the shape of its surroundings. So if it's got a clear run, it will grow upright. If it hasn't, like one of my lilacs, has kind of grown skew with because the first few years it was in that part of the garden, there was a fence plonked behind it and it was looking for light. So adaptability. What is it? That you are adapting to is it a new way of life um, because it's a number 10 it's a 64 so add them together it makes a 10 a completion of a cycle and the renewal of a new cycle coming in you know, I'm going to put it there I'm just going to have to overlap them um, yeah new cycle coming in I'm kind of getting that you may have to be adapting to new people. Um, you may struggle to get the light on you. I did think why why are they bringing up about the light not getting light. Um, and it could be that you may be feeling that because of these new people coming in. That the light isn't shining on you as much as it had been. So there's a little bit of adapting to do but you are able to adapt to these things you are really good with projects plans and people so don't sort of kick yourself in the shins for this just see how it goes because here my lovely look at this a love heart but in fire beloved radical acceptance um now for me normally when this card comes out a number two this is the radical acceptance of self um, and it may be that you're kind of discovering that the person that you've been and the person you've been portraying for a long time isn't actually the person that you're supposed to be. Um, and it may be that you've had a struggle somewhere in your teen years or your early 20s where you became something somebody else wanted you to become and you had to leave your dreams and aspirations behind you. Um and I'm kind of getting that for you that you are seeing that you are the beloved, that there is this radical acceptance of self. And it's looking back and grabbing hold of those moments and saying, OK, I couldn't do it then. Can I do it now? Um, and have you got the time, the ability and all of that? You're a bloody fire sign, Aries. Of course you have. You're so good at projects and plans. You know, try and think of yourself as, as the new project. Simple as. Empty well, time to replenish. What is it that you are lacking? Why are you feeling so empty? Oh, and I just got this feeling that it's an empty, you feel like it's an empty life. You may be well busy with jobs and... Um, You know, to do with the children, to do with your career. But there is a lack. There is an empty well. Now, whether that's spiritual and they're saying to you, come on, and spiritual's got nothing to do with organised religion. Spiritual is yourself. It's accepting yourself for who you truly are and, who, and how you're connecting to the world and the universe and all of that sort of stuff. So, time to replenish take a step back Aries take a step back take a deep breath 
and look at you look at your worth look at what what it is that you want around you what you've already got what it is that you want and bring that energy into the here and now don't keep being in lack of something if you there is something that you want sit in the energy that it's already happened you've got what you want if it's a person if you are hankering after a new partner of an evening when you're sitting there watching the telly on the laptop whatever it is you do playing the game imagine your ideal partner is sitting with you really close and you are snuggled up just imagine it because that means that you're living in the moment and that energy may take some time to catch you up but it will catch you up definitely so we've got the number 54 the crossing um initiation i think this came out for libra or gemini i think it was libra the crossing initiation number 54 nine this is a wish fulfillment this is you crossing through that portal and understanding your life's purpose what it is that you're aiming for it's only you that can cross that portal it's only you that can go across that bridge to get into that portal if anybody else tried it it would shut down but it's initializing something for you is it that you need to initiate contact with somebody is it that you need to initiate your own courage whatever it is there's an initiation going on and it could be that it's the first step into this beautiful new future that you've been so looking forward to crown games right use of power don't play games aries i know you're really good at it but that is not the right use of power if you are wearing a crown if you are standing in king queen or emperor or empress energy understand that using that power to to play games to ghost people to and this may have happened to you it doesn't have to be that it's you that's doing it but it's kind of like a warning to ghost people and then maybe gaslight them because you don't want to own up to what you've done. Um, you know, it's all of that sort of stuff. It's all those mind games going on. It's the number eight, so it's communication. Be clear about what it is that you want and what you're expecting in return. <laughs> number 60, watchers, transpersonal dance. There is a massive shift around you. And the watchers are the angels and the ancestors. And they are watching very, very closely indeed. Um, because this is all ancient civilization sitting on this plinth. It's the number 60, which is the number 6. They know you've got something precious to offer out. And they are watching really carefully. That as you do this transpersonal transition into this new life. Um, that you're not basically that you're not and I shouldn't be swearing in the first 60 seconds so just pray it's gone past but you should not be fucking up at this point um what they're saying to you is is that you need to make this right you need to make it right you have the ability to adapt you are the beloved you are um the radical acceptance is you you need to do and do you know sir I just heard hold on Oh my God, is this somebody that you know? Is this somebody that you know that has shown an interest and you're doing a backtrack to do a radical acceptance because of this empty well that you've got going on and you know it's going to be an initiation? Don't be tempted to play games because they're watching you. They will slap you down if you do this. This person... If it is a person, if it's not you and it's a person you're interested in, they have the ability to adapt around you. You don't need to do the adaptions, although you have the ability to do that as well. And it may be that you need to adapt to each other, especially if you're older and you're coming to this 
in your older years. Um, and everybody goes, oh, what do you mean by older years? I don't know. How old do you bloody feel? You know, I feel, I, I don't feel any older than I was at 40, but I'm now getting on a bit. Um, and I have to say that now for me to look for a life partner, Jesus, I would have to adapt. I would have to adapt so much stuff that is it really worth me doing it? Mm, I'm not sure it is. It would have to be somebody uber, uber special to one, spike my interest, but two, for me to adapt my life around somebody. And that sounds really selfish, doesn't it? But I've been on my own for 30 years. Good reasons behind that, but I still have done 30 years on my own and I have to say, I like my own company. I am not one of these people that has to... I, I've, I don't think I've ever used the term lonely. Um, yes, I'd like someone to go and have a meal with. Yes, I'd like to hold hands with somebody. Hey, if it don't happen, I ain't worried about it. It is not going to bother me. However, if you come out of a long-term relationship for whatever reason, um, and you've been in a long-term relationship, it may be that you are doing some time with the watchers about being on your own and adapting to being on your own and then being presented with an offer where another adaption will need to take place. Wow. Cracky eventually got there. Okay, so what started your what the fuck is on the floor? So let's pick you up, Aries. Oh, hanging around, are we, darlings? Facing your fears and taking your power back. Manifestation, thank you. Why are you manifesting that? Okay. Movement and journey. What can Aries do about this situation? What can Aries do? Set of Aries hands, please. Thank you. Reconnecting to your true self. Oh, Aries. The outcome for Aries, please. Thank you. Okay, my darling. So, Aries, why are you hanging around? You've got the Oak King. He's hanging around and he's drawing the infinity sign going round and round in circles. Um, darlings, if that's how you feel at the moment, you need to get yourself out of that bloody tree. And you need to start looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe look at things from somebody else's perspective. Because perhaps what you know about something or somebody isn't actually in truth. And it could be that you're fucked up um, uh, by looking at it from a one dimensional pers perspective instead of looking at it from a higher perspective or from the perspective of you don't know any anything about this person um so if it's information that's come to you from another source 
that you're not 100% certain that it was the correct information, start looking at it from a different perspective and stop going around in so many circles. Because I'm trying to get, I'm kind of getting that you let it go and then all of a sudden, whatever this is, comes around and hits you in the arse again. It's almost like you've let it go, you're doing okay, you're putting yourself out there, you're kind of getting a life together for yourself and then all of a sudden this issue comes back and it bites you on the arse. And what they're saying is that's just going around in circles. You're just going around and around and around and around in circles. Whoops, here it comes again. Whoops, here it comes again. And that's what you're doing. So unhook your foot, get out of that tray. Stop going around in circles. Stop, breathe, take a breather. Listen to your inner intuition and start looking at things from a different perspective. So darling's facing your fears and taking your power back. So facing your fears is Christ. Aries, seven of pentacles. This is your options, your blessings, your choices. And at the moment, I'm kind of getting that you've, as the craftsman, you've just thrown yourself into work. That is kind of like there isn't, you don't think that there's any room at the moment for something or somebody new. Um, so you've thrown yourself into work, but and it could be work related that you end up meeting somebody, but the five of the four of ones has come into play, and it's saying all this hard work and toil is going to pay off because one of two things is going to happen either you're going to start a new business venture and it's going to be very popular and it's going to be very um oh what's the word they've nicked the word out of my head again um oh they're buggers for this successful it's not even the word i was thinking of but yeah successful but there's also a possibility with the four of wands that this could be an engagement a marriage or an anniversary um there is celebration to be had after bringing in a harvest and then my darlings you are going to feel like you are moving into karma waters seeing your future more quick clearly so facing your fears is that you feel that you've thrown yourself into work and that's all there is left for you adaptability remember that but there isn't there's more just around the corner um and karma waters are definitely on their way so facing your fears is no it's not just all about work taking your power back is accepting that there is this celebration out there for you and that you are going to move into karma waters because i am getting that maybe for you for over the last three or four years even though the world's been in lockdown i kind of get that it's been quite a difficult face for you aries it's i'm not going to say it was any more difficult for you than any other sign but i don't know why they're bringing up the last three or four years so you know two maybe two to four years i'm going to say even pre-pandemic that something was in the offing and you was already thinking about what your next move was going to be um but now you're kind of throwing yourself into work because you think that's the only option and clearly there's other options there you just need to clean clean out that data get rid of it and just say to yourself okay i know there's something out there for me so i want to step into that energy and i'm going to say yes I've got what's out there for me and let the energy catch up with you. Manifestation, wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked. Who the fuck are you listening to? Who is it that when you make a manifestation or you put a wish out there or you're talking to somebody about something you want, who's having their say about what it is that you should and shouldn't be doing? And it's not like you to take on board what other people are saying to you, but it's almost like you made a choice and then somebody came along and went, this one's better. And you went, oh, all right. And you veered off and now all you're doing is wishing that you could get back to where you were. Um, tell them to shut the fuck up for a start off. Whoever that was, um, tell them to go away, to, to give them a wide berth, whatever it is you need to do. 
and go back to your original decision because that has stopped your manifestation dead in its tracks because it became somebody else's manifestation or wish fulfillment your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you have nature number 15 it's a six this is something precious that you need to do this is something that is worth its weight in gold but it's not um something tangible this is a feeling of faith that bear is looking at you going you can set that trap but i ain't putting my paw in there i'm off i'm gonna dance with the wood no wood nymphs so are you coming and you're dithering you're kind of like do i set the trap do i release the trap do i set the trap do i release the trap but it's you you're setting the trap for yourself and you need to release yourself from that energy because right in behind that as you release that trap and you go and dance with those wood nymphs and you learn how to be happy again in comes the ace of wands this is a fire card the skies are parting to show the sun and they are ripening these cherries at the bottom of this wand wave that wand there is a new project plan or there is a new person coming towards you there are lots of bites of beautiful sweet cherries just ahead of you so what can you do about this is understand that you have sown a lot of seeds over many years and now they are ready to come to fruition you just need to allow the room for them to come in and there is so much for you to have there is enough for you to share with other people but understanding about how a harvest comes in you have to make room for new growth to come in so the harvest that you may be seeing now may be something that you've sown seeds for years ago or it could be that you've sown a seed yesterday and it's just happened so what you can do about it is just give room for growth what's out of your hands Aries? you've got the ten of a thames darlings the universe knows that you've been through trials and tribulations and as you've dealt with each issue each problem you've put one of me in the ground as you've gone forming this beautiful circle of protection around you now protection is not rejection and if you are rejecting people they're saying that the new beginning that you're waiting for where you're drawing down energy where you are um able to use your knowledge and wisdom in order to make a decision and move yourself into a place where you can cleanse and clear is not going to cleanse and clear that quickly because you're stuck at the 10 and what they're saying to you is is let that cycle come to an end let it finish they're trying like mad to get you to finish a cycle that is not serving you um, and they they really want to bring in the new beginning for you, a new cycle to start. Now, reconnecting to your true selves, Aries, you have got the Five of Wands. And darlings, the Five of Wands in this deck is about a collection of people with egos up to the wazoo. Now, Aries, I'm, I'm sorry, darlings, man or female, you've all got massive egos, you have. Whether you like it or not, you kind of put your, your mind to a project or a plan and you're so good at it. You have no doubt in your head that that's going to happen for you. And people misconstrue um, having ambition for having ego. Now, these people can come along. They can make magic. They can make mischief. But to reconnect to your true self, what they're saying is you need to be the leader of these people. If you've kind of like put yourself in the position where you are now just part of the group, just part of the, the, um, the making of the magic and the mischief, they're saying they need a leader and that is where you're going to be. That is where you need to be. There, now there could be a conflict within this because there could be a leadership battle going on or if they're making magic at the moment they may be fluffing somebody else up to do that role you need to put yourself forward because you would be perfect for that role now that doesn't necessarily have to be friends or family it can be a work situation um so just be aware that 
reconnecting to your true self you need to step out and step up the outcome does the four of a theme is lovelies kicking back and thinking things over really what still um yeah it's all very well isn't it just kicking back and thinking about things but it's not an action card and that's what you need you need an action card you need to understand that the earth mother that you're hankering after, the new partner that you want, this creature brings with them the ability to birth and create ideas. They bring with them the cornucopia of life. So that means everything that you need and everything you want is wrapped up in Mother Earth, the Empress. Now this creature, she's going to be maybe an earth sign, maybe not. Earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, but I do say, and I do see with this, that she, encom she encompasses all of the um, signs, all of them. So this energy that's hidden from you isn't going to be hidden forever. She is going to present herself because she is going to present a way forward. She is going to present the creation of something that you may need to adapt to she is going to create something where she will not accept stupid games she just won't do it she just won't do it um but there is there's definitely a trance there is a transition for you a massive shift for you um in this now you have got You've got three major arcanas, and then you have got two fives, a ten. Dance, there's a shift coming. There is a shift coming. You're already working hard, um, but I'm kind of getting that maybe you're, be, you're working hard at the wrong things. Working hard at the wrong things. So can I have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance from the angels and ancestors for Aries for late August, please. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe for me, especially the like button. Love getting messages. So let me know what you're doing, what you're up to, whether it is, um, if this is ringing true for you, I hope that word resonated so I'm not using it. So we had those two first. Third. Okay. Oracle, wait for important information. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. And lastly but not least, Lord Chain take charge with authority that's the reconnecting to your true self take charge with authority aries that is your late august reading i hope it was of some help for you um please leave in the comments if you if you feel up to it if you don't well don't um wherever you are please be safe and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now